finding areas of combined pictures or combined shapes is what this section is about. So this is an example of one that we could do to find a combined area. I say combined because when you look at this, you're going to actually see that, you know, this right here, if we would draw down that imaginary line, I would then have a square. I know it's a square because the three side, well, three sides here, and this is 90 degrees, and I probably should draw in here. That one's also 90 degrees. Once I know that, then I know it's a square, which means I know that I can determine that this down here is 10. <clears throat> so now what I have is I have a square and I have an equilateral triangle. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to find the two different areas. and then, So I'm going to find the area of the square and then I'm going to find the area of the triangle and then I'm going to add them up to give me the total combined area, hence the name combined terms. So starting with the square, I have area equals base times height. So in this case, that will be 10 times 10. Oh, I forgot to put units on this. Let's call them centimeters. They're all centimeters. So the area of the square is 100 square centimeters. And then I've got, that's a 2. <clears throat> then I have that triangle, which I'm going to redraw over here. I'm just kind of kind of rotated it around, and it's 10, 10, and 10. And I need to find the area of that triangle. Going to the formula card that we have, we have that area of an equilateral triangle is equal to square root of 3 divided by 4 times the side squared. So to do that, I go to my calculator, uh, or... Actually, a couple different ways you could go about it. Um, but I would take uh, take the, sorry about that, pause. And then, so this 10 is a side, and this 10 is a side. So that goes in there into my formula. So I'm going to have square root of 3 divided by 4 times 10 squared. Now is when I go to my calculator. I'm going to find the square root of 3 first, which is... Oop, pen, 1.732 divided by 4 times 100, because that's 10 squared, 10 squared, because we actually should have done this first because it's exponents for order of operations, then roots, then we'll do the division and the multiplying. <clears throat> Make that a little bit smaller, so then I have, in my calculator, I'm going to type in 1.732 divided by 4. 4 times 100 equals 43.3 centimeters squared. So my total area is these two together. Or add them up and I have 143.3 centimeters squared. And that's the area for finding that combined area. So now I'm going to have a this image and find the combined area. So what I have really is I've got this image down here, or this figure, and then this figure. So like kind of like an ice cream cone. But anyways, this is a type of a triangle that has two sides of the same length, which means this is an isosceles triangle. And then I see these little dashed lines. So these are telling me things about these different pieces and parts. So I'm going to take it apart first and say, okay, first off, I have this top image here. which is a semicircle or a hemisphere, so a half a circle. From here to the edge is 1. And then I remember the area formula for a circle. Area equals pi times r squared. Pi r squared. So area equals pi times 1 squared. Remember that 1 squared is 1. It's 1 times 1. So it's 1 times pi. So the area is equal to 3.14159. But remember, 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 this is the area formula for a whole circle. What do I have? I have a half of a circle. So I need to take this area and divide it by 2. So it's half of pi. 
So that will be 1.57. Make that inches. Inches squared. And this is the area of this. That hemisphere. So now my image all the way across here. That's that area. 1.57. Now I got this little triangle and I gotta do something with that. So I redrew it. And this distance, remember, was 1, which means the whole distance across is going to be 2. And then this line was drawn in there, 90 degrees, and that was given as 3.873. <clears throat> Why is that on there? So what you really have going on now is we have this image that's really a triangle with two equal sides, isosceles triangle, <clears throat> and this is my height. And this is now my base. So what I would have used before is the isosceles triangle formula, but I don't actually have to do that because I drew in this little thing down here. Now all my numbers are upside down because I took this and I spun the whole thing around, right? There it is. So then I do it again. So remember the area formula for a triangle is one half times base times height. And in this formula I can see that the base of that original figure is that whole length there. The base is the bottom. So that's a base length of two inches. And my height was given as 3.873. Now if the height were not given I would have had to have used the isosceles triangle formula, that really, really big, nasty looking one. But that's okay, we've done it before, you could do it again. Alright, so I'm going to multiply 0.5, or 1 half, same thing, 0.5 is the same as 1 half, times 2, times 3.873, and I get an area of 3.873. And sometimes, you know, you might be going, what? Remember, 1 half times 2, what's half of 2? Half of 2 is 1, 1 times that number. So even though you could use your calculator, you didn't have to use your calculator. So that's the area of the bottom of my cone. The area of the circle, or the, actually it's the half circle, from the previous page was 1.57. And this is inches squared, inches squared. So my total area will be the two added up. So all you're going to do on your little half sheet before you come to class with is draw a picture of the ice cream cone again. This is a little quarter sheet of paper. Maybe. Make sure your name is on it, the date, and draw the picture of the ice cream cone with all the parts labeled from the original picture. Um, and then write down what the two areas are and then the total area. So simply just add them up and write it in there and bring that to class. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.